কাজ করতে পাঠাও এন্ড আমার বলো ঠিক আছে আজকে ও যাবে এন্ড আই ওয়াজ গোয়িং এন্ড আই ওয়াজ ভেরি অ্যাফ্রেড যে এইবার আমি কি করব এন্ড দেন অল দ্য সাডেন আই সব মাই এল্ডার ব্রাদার ইজ মানে কামিং টুয়ার্ডস মি রানিং এসে বলছে ঠিক আছে তো আমার সাথে চলো সো দ্যাট ওয়াজ লাইক মি হোয়েন আই ওয়েন টু দ্য ক্যারেট কলেজ আই সব মাই ফ্রেন্ডস আর মাচ মোর স্মার্টার দেন মি অ্যান্ড সবসময় আই ওয়াজ দ্য পার্সন হু ইজ টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড থিংস দ্য লাস্ট ইন ক্যারেট কলেজ উইস টু হ্যাভ লটস অফ করি ইয়েস অ্যান্ড দেন সরি সো কো কারিকুলার অ্যাক্টিভিটিজের মধ্যে যেটা হতো যে দোজ দেয়ার আর আ পার্ট অফ ইট হুইচ ইউর নেভার অন স্টেজ ইট ওয়াজ অলওয়েজ বাহাইন্ড দ্য স্টেজ সো আই ওয়াজ আ পার্সন হু ওয়ার ওয়াজ অলওয়েজ বাহাইন্ড দ্য স্টেজ ডুইং দ্য প্ল্যানিং ডুইং দ্য ডিরেকশন ডুইং দ্য স্টেজ ডিজাইনিং অল দোজ স্টাফ অ্যান্ড আই গট ইউজ টু ডুইং দিস থিংস সো মাচ তো সব সময় সব প্রোগ্রামে এই কাজগুলো করা অর ওয়াল ম্যাগাজিন করা ড্রামা করা লেখাপড়া না করে আই ইউজ টু ডু দিস থিংস অলওয়েজ তো আমার কিছু সিনিয়ররা দোজ হু আর মাই ওয়েল উইশার ওনারা আমাকে সবসময় বলতেন যে আচ্ছা তুমি তো একদম লেখাপড়া না করে এইসব কাজ করছো এইসব বোকামি করার কোনো মানে আছে মানে ইউ ইউ হোয়াট উইল ইউ হ্যাভ অ্যাট দ্য এন্ড অফ ডে ডুইং অল দিস থিংস তো হোয়েন আই স্যাট ফর মাই এইচএসসি এক্সাম my result somehow luckily was extraordinarily good so i stood second in the board exam and that's not the end because there are these people the senior guys they said dekho tumi ekdom lekha pora na kore second hoye gecho lekha pora korle tumi kothay jete parta chinta korte parcho but at least persistent korta so i thought yes they, they these people are intelligent আমি একটু লেখাপড়া তো করা উচিত সো আই ট্রাই টু স্টাডি লিটল বিট মোর ট্রাই টু বি সিনসিয়ার ইন এইচএসসি অ্যান্ড হোয়াট হ্যাভ ইন ইস দ্যাট রেদার দেন বিকামিং ফার্স্ট আই বিকাম টুয়েন্টি এথ ইন দ্য এক্সাম সো আই থট ইটস বেটার যে আমি আমার যে আমার যে স্টাইলটা সেইটাই ঠিক করে রাখা দেন হোয়েন আই ওয়াজ ইন ইউনিভার্সিটি সো দেয়ার আর ফিউ বুকস হুইচ কেম টুগেদার টু মি লাইক this brief history of time then there was like on astronomy then i read few on i uh, say logics and then uh, the arujali matobbandam er ekjon writer as i don't know whether you people know or not he wrote against the religion and on something very rational way of thinking so i i thought in life is something very essential and the only truth is to become very rational so you have to be very rational you have to do something very intelligently and you will be enormously successful and that was a kind of thought process that went within my mindset for the next couple of years then i got a book okay so it's not a book it's a it's a, it's a, a big story so and again it happened coincidentally two stories together so one was a book uh, a story written by leo tolstoy that is the death of ivan ilis if you have uh, any of you have read it that is of a person who is dying he was a very successful person and when he was dying je ek ek kore tar poribarer shobai tar theke dure shore jacche and the only the helping hand in the house th- that guy was with him and he was always in a say a state of irritation with his disease illness and the last revelation he had before he died was there is only one thing that is true in life that is love and there was another story i i read at that time that is gimpel the fool okay so gimpel the fool was a person that is written by one israeli writer Isaac Basif is singer to oi golpo ta hocche je ekta manush grame ache he is like a simpleton of the village shop grame je rokom boka thake ekta manush and that guy shobai oke thokai kintu o kaor upor rag korte parena shobai ke she khoma kore dai shobai ke khoma kore dai he got married 
His wife cheated on him, but still he thought, okay, bhul kore kore filse. And then one day he left the village and he started to travel across the world to teach people his story that, okay, everybody tried to fool, fool me, but I knew they are going to fool me. But still I accepted that because I thought then they will feel good, okay? So then I thought, okay, that, that makes sense. That may be a kind of, say, a philosophy in life that is much better than becoming always intelligent, rational, and always trying to uh, maximize the benefit for yourself, okay? So who are in finance or who are in economics? We always try to make sure that we maximize the benefit for ourselves. And as Adam Smith said, that once in the society, everybody wants to maximize their benefit, the society as a whole will be benefited. But there might be something different in that. When we try to maximize the benefit for others, when we adopt a sense of purpose in our life, most probably then the society gets benefited much better. So when I was with my first job, I used to work very hard, even after the office hour. So my senior colleagues used to come to me and say, Aptar moto boka amrao chilam, but eto kaas kore kono lab hobe na. Okay? But I was the person who, when I got promoted, so MXS jakhon, we had employee uh, say, survey, ekta jinish bola hoto je, do you believe je ekhane hard work korle, shita reward pa jai. Everybody said, yes, we believe that because we have seen somebody who has worked very hard and done well in his career. When I joined IPDC, so at that time, basically, the company was in a very, very bad shape. And everybody was leaving the company. I stayed back. And those people, my colleagues, who were brighter, uh, who are much more smarter than me, they left the company for better organization, used to say, Momin, bokami na kore, tatari ekta job khoje, you, you go to somewhere else, or your career is going to get ruined. So, boka hishebe, I did not listen to their, say, advices, I stayed back, and I became CEO at IPDC at the age of 35. Okay? So those people who, who thought IPDC do not, uh, did not have any future, today IPDC is the most vibrant, most successful financial institution in Bangladesh. So Ami Avar Bolvo, you will see in your life. You will see psychophancy, you will see corruption, you will see intolerance. But you have to choose it from, by yourself, which route you want to take, okay? You can be a psychophant or you can be, you can substitute that word with hard work. You can adopt a route of corruption or you can really have the integrity and transparency. You can be, take a path of intolerance, or you can take a path of pluralism. So my dear friends, I will tell you, don't be intelligent. Don't be selfish. Don't be somebody who tries to maximize his or her own benefit. Try to look around you. Try to have a dream not for yourself, not what you want to be. Try to have a dream which defines what impact you want to keep on the life of the people around you. Thank you. The next person we have here today, again, I told you that there are a lot of things we do, we buy things, we ride, th we ride planes and cars, and there are people we are indebted to. 
And I'm also on a personal level, I'm indebted to that person because I have an office in Joshua and I need to go to Joshua once or twice a month. And every time, I'm not saying this because he's here or because Novo Air is the sponsor in this national assembly, but then I do take Novo Air every time I go fly to Joshua or I fly to Select, I have to fly um, pretty much within, the, within Bangladesh a lot. And it's an honor the managing director of Novoair is here with us. Please give him a warm welcome with a big round of applause. Hello, everybody. How are you? Abhi. Kobi Helal Hafiz director Chutto Kobita part after Mona Shavai Jan and a big character Kobita Akon Jobon Jar Judhe Jawar Tars Chester Shamoy A Hall Burti She Judhe Jawar Jono Judha Akon Jodu Amade the Shekuno Judhone Kinto Amade Desta Gora Ecta Birar Judho Kinto after a guinea jabin Amade Prithivite Joto Kollan Kor, Mongoler Kaj Gulohoi, Shegulukutu, Juvarai Koretake. To Kurvi Jokonamake Boloje, Erokovecta Assembly Hoi, every year would I like to speak. To all my life, when I left the college, it was my dream to come back to my youth, to my school days, and to my college. I think today I have just walked into that life with you. Jodi, all you have black hairs, and I do have white. Well, in my mind, I am still a young man like you. Only thing that I have colored my hairs with white color. Now, Amake Bolohoi Shilo, aviation among tourists over Porkishu Kotha Bulte. So, I am not that prepared like Mr. Shamim Kabir and the presentation that I saw from Ilin. Have I pronounced right, Elin? Well, uh, nowadays you might have seen Mr. Donald Trump came to India. He said, Shwami Vivek Mundun. And Mr. Modi was neither less. He said, Mr. Dolan Trump. Well, I'm a, absolutely a political man. Putting on Punjabi doesn't speak that I am a politician. I like this dress, that's why. So that was the part of it. So uh, there was wonderful presentation. So I have nothing, uh, a prepared presentation. I am a little bit shaky here to speak to you because I have nothing at the back. Well, going back, that you have the best time to do something for the good of this country. Amader deshe pratton to anchol theke Bangladesh jodi bolle take nap theke the tuli ya shop jayga theke amader jai representative eshche. And I'm happy to hear that we do have some foreign delegates coming from South Asian countries as well as from Vietnam. Welcome to Bangladesh. Now it's a wonderful opportunity for me that I speak some of my mind as well as the topic that is given to me to speak about. Now, going back to our life, well, my father always said, pursue your dream. 
just chase your dream what you want to be. He never asked me to be a doctor or an engineer or whatsoever. Every parent have their dream that their son becomes an engineer or a doctor. While my mother, she always told me that whatever you want to be, but do something for humanity, for their good. I hope my mom and dad hearing from the heaven that I do exactly the same two-pronged approach of my life. I chase my dream and want to do something good for the human being. Well, to talk about chasing the dream, so when I was in my uh, school, my school was under the Air Force uh, training area. The aircrafts used to make a lot of aerobatics. And hearing the sound, I used to run out of my class, keep seeing the aerobatics that is done by the aircraft. And when I wanted to enter the class, my teacher would put me kneel down in front of the door of the class. The way you have seen uh, that three years movie Mr. Amin Khan, Amir Khan was doing, that really happened several times. So after ending my college, I ended up in the Air Force Academy, became a pilot. So I had always been changing my dream. So whatever in your mind, you don't have to be a doctor, you don't have to be an engineer, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. Whatever in your mind, please change your dream. There is a saying, whatever you love, if you can do that, you will never feel that you are doing a service or you are doing a job. Then, after some time of my Air Force life, almost quarter of a century, left Air Force, and then is the second part of my dream changing, setting, setting up an airline. So you have seen the Novo Air. Yes, we, in Bangladesh at one time, we had only one airline, Biman Bangladesh Airline. It actually, the client among service provider is a relationship with the Chilona. When we travel, the service is a relationship with the Chilona. So, our Kishu we have a relationship with the Chilona. Do you have Nowhere is Jatra Shulhoi. Due to jet aircraft near Aske Duhajar Bishale, Amadir Shati aircraft, Inshallah, Eboshore Shesha Amade Bohare, Plain Hobe Dosta. Amadir philosophy, the Jatri Shabat Amadir. Prothome Ashe, Taro Agashe safety, Karan Amadir Shobar Maji Ekta Akashe Brahmani Bhiti Ashe. To Shejon Nabi Monikori, Jamade safety, Akisha the service to the Tahabe. Bangladesh Bastobotai, Onik Kishui difficult, Kidushe difficulty, Amra Joy Kori, or Chesta Kurchi. Inshallah, our airline ta, amra shudhu Bangladesh er shimana inoy, our Bangladesh er shimana ar bairo, ekta shunam jono boeni ashte pare Bangladesh er jono shayo bhilokhe amra kaj korchi. Aske ekhane jara boshe ashe, hoyto kauke jodi. Karumani dream thake je aviation ke ekta career hisabe beche debe. I would 
love to welcome them to my Novo Air. Is there anyone who could uh, wish to join Novo Air? Please raise your hand. Please contact me. Now, once again, going back to the changing of the dream of life. So, all the way that I have walked through past years, all of a sudden I was found to be wrong, perhaps. You see, you don't have to be Mr. Bill Gates. And for that matter, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. I just met Mr. Karvi Raksand a few months back. And then I thought that, yes, if I could go back to my earlier life through a time machine, I would do what Mr. Karvi Raksant is doing. So dream big or small, whatever you take, please note that it is for the well-being of the human being. You might be thinking that I'm trying to sideline my topic, that aviation and tourism. Well, uh, I thought that it could not be very much attractive a topic for you. Uh, that's why I was just sidelining. And as usual, I, I don't have a, a prepared speech. Neither I am like Mr. Sadiq, is a very good public speaker. I have never been to. Well, aviation is a very big field that uh, encompasses many of the discipline. You become a pilot, you become an engineer, you could become a ground service crew, you become a uh, salesperson, a lot of things all together. And it is just not the commercial aviation, it is the space, it is nowadays again that <clears throat> all changing disruptive technologies, right? So in Bangladesh, we are just in the beginning of the, how much time do I have? I'm not uh, ever of my time. Well, I have been beating around the bushes, leaving my topic aside. Uh, maybe I'll be here next year, inshallah. That time I'll address if you do have, and besides I'll be uh, answering your question, uh, questions on the aviation. I think that will be much more interactive. And once again, uh, could I ask you to raise your hands and Make a vow in your life that you will chase our dream, we become a good human being, and do something good for the country and for the people. Thank you. So a lot of you may not realize this from their simplicity, from their humbleness, from their modesty, from their unpretentious attitude, that their company employs hundreds if not thousands of people. Their annual tur turnover is millions in dollars, not in Taka. And it's not every day you get to hear from them. So after our last speaker, they would have a Q&A session. So question them, ask them questions that you want to know about the real world, the real industry, because trust me, the real world is, may, might be different from what you think it is while you're studying. So the next speaker we have, and is one such company that is a pride of Bangladesh, is earning, mashallah, a lot of foreign dollars and employing a lot of people. And just like I'm personally indebted towards Novoware because I fly Novoware, I am personally indebted towards IPDC because I, bought, I got my car through car loan from IPDC last year. I'm also thankful to Nasim Bhai, he's the Managing Director of Apex and he's here with us. A round of applause for Nasim Bhai, please. I'm also personally indebted 
to them because my son goes to a school that is founded by Nasim Bhai's mother. So without any further ado, please give a round of applause as I welcome Sir Nasim Manzoor, Managing Director of Apex up on stage, please. Thank you. Good morning, Coxal Bazaar. Shall I go me against it? All right. Um, I'm an Amnasim. Um, I'm a Peshakotava Bekta Muchi. Kintu educationally trained as an economist. But before I get into all of that, I want to thank Corvi. I want to thank Amrin. I especially want to thank Jago for giving me this opportunity. Because as was said before, um, as you can see from the white hair, I'm slightly in a different age category. I'm certainly not Generation Z. I, I like to say Z, so I'm completely different from you guys, right? I have, a, I have four children. We have four children. I have an amazing partner. And my oldest girls, who are twins, are 15. So I see a lot of YouTube. I get what you guys are doing, and it's amazing. And I really want to recognize and salute Jago for the amazing work that you do. I also want to thank my fellow shoemaker uh, and my younger brother, Shamim, for the great support that he's giving to Jago and all the companies, IPDC, the sponsors, Novo Air, because I think corporate Bangladesh needs to step up. And we are all here today, and we are proud, and we are motivated, and we believe the future is great because I look out on you and I see an amazing future. Um, I do have a presentation, which hopefully I will be able to use. But before we do that, I'm going to spend a little bit of time to just talk about, do you guys know where you are? I'm going to name five countries. And I want you to tell me what these five countries total up to. Denmark, Ireland, Finland, Iceland, Norway. A pasta dish is equal to what? Take a guess. I'll name them again. Norway. Denmark, Sweden, Finland, Ireland. Sorry? Uh, no, try again. Let me give you a hint, closer to home. Even closer to home. Right. These five countries, which include some of the richest countries in the world, we're talking about Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Ireland, look it up, Google it. These five countries together comprise about 32 million people, 32 million customers, 32 million people we touch, we work with, we serve. Novo Air, IPDC, Apex, step. What do we do? Bangladesh has a MAC population. Does anybody know what a MAC population is? Middle and affluent consumers. Tarmaniki. Purchasing power. These are people who can buy things, services, products, buy things that you will produce, buy services that you will create. We have that right now in this country. Just take a minute to think of that. I didn't name small countries, I didn't name developing countries, I named some of the richest countries in the world. Right now, I'm on the doorstep right here. That is the opportunity, people that you have been given. And you know why? Because you happen to be born. This is our greatest strength. Use this. Bangladesh is also blessed to be in the right place in the right time. And what do we mean by that? Our friends from the Asian University for Women, we are in the right continent. No disrespect to Europe and America. They're done. This is our time. This is our time. Asia is now the region to be. If you look at the top 10 cities by population by 2035, seven out of those 10 cities are going to be in Asia. Do you know what number four is? Dhaka. Number four out of the top 10 cities by population. Right here, our capital, Dhaka. So, we are blessed, doubly blessed, right country, right. But what are we going to do with this? How do we take this to the next level? So I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, because I think it's important. 
as I said, I work for a company called Apex. I'm proud to represent Apex today to you. I went to a university where I studied economics. I wasn't good enough to get the best jobs in the US, which was investment banking, because I wasn't smart enough. So I thought I'll get a great job being a consultant. And America has this amazing thing, no? You can be a 21-year-old and you can become a consultant. You can tell great founders of airlines how to run his airline. I don't know anything, but I'll tell him how to run his airline, and people will pay me. So here I am, 20 years old, single. I'm going to get a chakri offer to Brazil to be a strategic consultant. Good job. But my parents had other plans, and I had other plans. Because one of the things that we discussed, Hoche, does the world really need another investment banker? Does the world really need another strategic consultant? As you probably, some of you may know, the company that I work for was founded by my chairman, who also happens to be my father. So the usual, of course, conclusion is, very true. But do you know the statistic? that two-thirds of family businesses go bankrupt from first to second generation. Tikena. kya no? For the obvious reasons. Second generation spoiled, privileged, kach kore na, sharadin party kore, shakalu utena gumdeke, all the stuff. So you need to change that narrative. And how do you do that? You do that by creating something different. So the offer that was made to me by my chairman, who also happens to be my father, was come back to Bangladesh, Let's do something different. So, our university is a professor. The professor does a lot He used to do a lot of research on family businesses and how and why family businesses go bankrupt. And he gave us four cardinal rules. He said, first, never join the family business straight up because you will ruin the business. Make your business mistakes on someone else's money. Good advice. Second, if you join a family business, never ever work for your parent. Because you will not get a fair deal. Either Beshi Kotin, or Beshi spoiled. Third, if you have to join the family business, do something different in that business. Because they don't need you in that business. They're already running it without you, right? Or join Judi Kotei Hoi, make sure you start from the bottom. So here I am, graduate from quite a decent school in America. My starting salary, 1990, before most of you were born, at that time was 5,000. This was slightly lower than the median salary of people graduating from my university. So I said, 5,000, this is not really a fair salary. Immediate family comment, you live at home, you eat free. At the time, I was not happy. I'll be honest, this is not the way to start your career. But what was interesting is what they made us do. First job, go and buy balu. Ki balu kine se ni rumen motte? Hat tulen. Bt balu, silet balu. Difference bujen? Very good. Act number eight, doing number eight, picket eight. Kya bujhe? Ap dikto bolen to. What's the difference between first class brick and a picket brick? Uh, as <coughs> as far as I know, uh, first class brick is the Premium one. Correct. And the second class, uh, what do you mention? Picket. Picket brick uh, from the breaking things to um, tiny things. Make it into gravel. gravel. Right. Thank you. So what it is, when you get to a brick field, and when you go to a brick field, when you try to buy brick, the way you judge brick is by the color of the brick. Koto lal. You go have to go and touch the brick. The point of this is not to make you brick salespeople. The point of this is you want to build something, roll up your sleeves, get your hands dirty. I hat boy After Judi Kono Kichu Tori Kotachar, and many of you will go on to build great things. The way to build is to start with your hands. It doesn't matter whether you create apps. Let's face it, not everybody's going to be a Java programmer. Bangladesh is in the sweet spot of manufacturing for the next 25 years. So we need to create these world-class factories. And at Apex, that's what we try to do. So if I go to the what we are trying to do here. Can I get this to work? 
Uh, can we just forward this? The next slide. Okay. So, what do we do in Apex? I will try to make this work. We work in fashion, but we have a different philosophy in fashion. We say that fashion, of course, it can be fast, but fashion must be good. The amount of landfill, the amount of pollution, the amount of envir environmental degradation that is created by fast fashion is now a global crisis. Amron average, Shara Pitibite, 80% of what we buy, we throw away. Kapor, Juto, any kind of fashion accessory. So, Bangladesh, maybe Amron Ekshamay Monikari, or the Gorib Desh, Amra Akono Grow Kochi, Amadra Akono Export Dorkar. So, we can overlook this. No. We live in one of the most densely populated countries in the world. Amra agriculture upper dependent. We cannot afford to destroy this environment. So, we believe that it can be fast, but it must be good. And you start with what we call the first, oh, sorry. Are we losing this again? Can I get this to work? Can you just forward it? Sorry, guys. Where is it? Hi, just forward. just forward then and maybe easier. I think we can just skip this. So if I can go to the next slide. I want to share with you a little bit about what we do at Apex. Can you just click? I'm going to click Corbin, forward Corbin, please. What is the purpose? Just keep clicking because otherwise it's going to just slow us down. Amra, we work with this concept of honest growth. That is the mission statement. Everybody has to have a vision, a mission statement. You can call it what you want. This is what we do. We call it honest growth. The important thing is growth, but the more important thing is how you grow. If you don't grow honestly, you will not sustain growth. You will die. And honestly just does not mean do you pay back your bank, do you pay your VAT and taxes. It's how you treat your employees. It's how you treat your customers. It's how you behave as a socially responsible corporate. So it has to start from there. You have values, core values. Out of the core values, obvious things like respect, integrity, urgency, all of these are things that we can practice as human beings. All of the things that we said makes you take that vow to be a greater, better human being. It is not related or not restricted to just working for a company or for another organization. You can do this everywhere. But what are our assets? And I look at this and I think, this can be things that we can say about Jago. These are things that we can say about any of the organizations that are sponsoring this today. Even as Bangladesh, what is the greatest iconic asset of Bangladesh? Human capital. Manush. Manup Shampun. That is our greatest strength. And that is what we need to turn into our greatest advantage. Quality. Bangladesh is known for making quality. We make some of the best apparel in the world, Aptarajanin, from Gucci to Burberry, all the way down to Primark. Everything is made here. We make Timberlands, we make Steve Madden, we make Aldo, we make Versace. We produce these brands in Bangladesh for the world. People don't know it, but we make them here. And where we are falling behind is that we have not yet created global brands, which is something I know Shamim is doing, which is something we are trying to do. Our brands need to now take their position on the global stage. And that's what we're going to do. Now, how are we going to be different? What is Apex going to do to be different? What are we trying to do? First, listen to your consumer. Very simple. Go to your consumer, find out what they do. How do you do that? You use data. You make sure that you have data. That's where you have an advantage, the youngsters, the future leaders in this room, because you are digital natives, you're born in data. But data is useless unless you know how to use data. We're all drowning in data. Our mother, atho information, atho dashboard, atho ERP, atho software, we don't know how to use that data. So, Atske, for example, we work in retail. Let me give you a real life example. In the best retail stores in China, and the best retail is China, make no mistake, you walk into the store, there is facial recognition technology that recognizes you. 
as you come in. Thank you, Mr. Kareem, for coming to my store. How was that last purchase? As you walk in, there is heat mapping that is watching where you're going in the store. As you go to the store, there is red area, green area, on my laptop or on my phone or on my tab, which shows what you are picking up. What is being picked up is then goes to the cloud. The order for that item is then uploaded and increased. What is not touched is then decreased. Not only stops there, a WhatsApp message, you know, in China, WeChat message goes to the store manager. Jeta bikri hotchena, sheta is brought to the front of the store. Jeta bikri hotchena that is brought to the back of the store. Doesn't stop there. You pick up the product. The product has what's called wearable technology. It's either a fabric or a shoe or a garment. You pick it up. That wearable technology then transmits again to the web, back to your ERP, back to your supply chain. Wait our our order. This is happening today, 2020 February, as we speak. This is where technology is going. This is what will happen in Bangladesh. But I need you guys to do this. We can't do this alone. We have to be open to change. Our biggest problem in Bangladesh, in many countries, as human beings, we don't like change. We feel threatened by change. Especially we, people like me with gray hair, older generation, I'm not boy by. Hi, hi, take holo. I don't understand this. You're talking in a language. I don't understand coding. You know, our meetings today, we don't do PowerPoint anymore. We don't do PowerPoint because too much time is spent on the font, on the graphics, on the transition, on the bells and whistles. Apna, you are trying to impress us with that, but you're not impressing me with this. That is the fundamental takeaway I will give you. Make sure you know your subject so well, even if the technology fails, I can talk for another three hours. You have to be ready for that. That's where you will know, and that will only come with hard work and with experience. Can I have the next stage? Next slide, please. Like I said, you can't trust technology to work, so it will not work. If the slide doesn't change, okay. So, What's the foundation? We like to say this is a campaign we ran, I think, two years ago. We said, born in Bangladesh, worn around the world. Because we don't want to hide that fact. I mean, again, let me give you an example. The first export we made, 1990, 1990. We exported our first container of shoes, leather shoes, to Belgium. Belgium Customs held up the consignment. They said, shoes, Bangladesh? No, this is heroin, drugs. Can Bangladesh no bush on the Juta Banana? Ki Banata Bara, heroin Banata Bara, maybe kiss a Jude back tech Banata Bara, Juta Wana Bakiko. We had to take pictures in those days, internet was almost non existent. Take pictures of the factory, get it attested by the embassy, send it to the customs, customs released us after three weeks. From there to today. That's how far Bangladesh has come. Not us, Bangladesh. Worn around the world, worn with pride. Can I have the next slide, please? Keep going. So, you build your organization around some core values, whether it's human capital, whether it's work ethic, whether it's shared, shared values, but around all of it comes back to the same thing. Everywhere you see, it's people. You have to recognize people. I'm not, technology is just a tool. Technology is just an enabler. It comes back to connecting with people, either people who work with us or people that we serve. And the brand. Thanks to you, thanks to the amazing support of everybody in Bangladesh, Apex became a brand purely by accident. There was no McKinsey plan. There was no great strategic plan that we are going to become a brand. This is what people used to think. We realized, oh, wait a minute. We have this huge market on our doorstep, and we're not serving it. So what are we going to do about it? So we started to also look at it, and we started to serve that brand. And what are we going to do about all of this? It has to come back to product. Your product has to be world class. Your product has to be consumer driven and you have to innovate, innovate, innovate. Can I have the next slide, please? So, what are going to be the growth drivers? I'll run through this very quickly. Can you please keep going? Consumer centric, data driven, sustainability, robust, and innovation. We've talked about this. This is what I would like to stress from everybody here. You have to exit your comfort zone. Let me give you another quick example. I mean, um, five years ago for my health, I started to use a bicycle. Cycle kore edigo dik jai arki. Amar office jai. So at that time, I was the, serving as the president of our footwear association. Our footwear association office was in Bonani. 
I, our office is in Gulshan. So I rode to Barani, I got off my bicycle, and the guard came. Hey, you cycle ride there. I said, boss, I have to cycle take a ride. I said, I have to cycle stand. I said, I have to lock the cycle. No, no, I have to keep the car. I said, I have to lock the cycle. No, 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 I have to lock the cycle. So, what do I do? I said, I made a call. My colleague came back. My colleague is shouting at the guard. Why did you do this? It's not the guard's fault. We are trained to think like this. We have become ingrained that, you know, why don't you have a car? boss, why don't you have a car? So we judge people by the car, we judge people by the size of the office. These are old mindsets, these need to change, right? Nobody looks at this. You don't impress me, you don't impress anybody, trust me. You impress us with what you know, how well you know it, and how passionate you are about that, about making yourself better. That's what will get you the job, not by the suit that you wear, certainly not always by the name of the university that you went to. The President Trump, who was shown here, no disrespect, went to the same university that I did. Every time he went bankrupt, he came back, he's a disgrace to my university. It's not a political statement, but it is a political statement. Don't worry about the degree. Worry about what you want to know. Make that your passion. Make sure you know that better than anybody in the room. You will win. Next, please. I want to talk about this for two minutes, and I'm going to take a little bit of time, because I think this is important. I'm going to talk a point of differentiation. Leather money, Hazaribag, leather money, Poribesh Dushon, leather money, we've killed the environment, all of which is true, by the way. All of that is true, and we have. And I put my hand on my take responsibility collectively for that. But we are doing something different, and we can do something different. Do, how many of you know that all the thread that we use inside the shoe comes from recycled PET bottles, that plastic bottle over there? I'm very happy that Jago is not using plastic here. I noticed that. Okay? It doesn't have to be that way. Chamra manei kharab, chamra manei poribesh dushon, Bangladesh manei gorib. It doesn't have to be that way. It's here. All right? It starts here. You change that, it changes there. Now, if you look at what we're doing, our zippers, the zippers on the boots, these are our boots, by the way, come from recycled metal. We get metal, we recycle it, we make it into zippers. This is all possible. It's happening real time right now in Bangladesh. So when they tell you the Bangladesh doesn't know what we're doing, tell them you don't know what Bangladesh is doing. Okay? Because we're doing a lot of stuff. Next, please. So, very quickly, keep going. These are things that we're all doing, right? Whether it's Apex, whether it's Jago, whether it's each one of you. What are we going to do? We're going to change. We're going to change fast. We live in very volatile, uncertain times. We have to execute. I want all of you to, know, to please learn this word. I hear so many pictures. I sit on so many of these juries. Great ideas, great ideas. No execution. Where is the execution? Don't come to us with 25 ideas. Come to me with two. Execute one. Execute. I'm the CFO Bolin. Execute violently. Execute so far, so hard that we're like, wow. He looked at idea. He met her idea. Fantastic. Review, break down those barriers, grow, and reward. Organizations, we also need to reward. Those days are gone. The average person will have 22 jobs. Right? They will keep moving. You need to change. You need to reward people to hold on to those people. Can I go to the next slide, please? Can we play this? Charadin Mobile are gaming. They say you're not good enough. Are you? I hear you're into weightlifting. But can you lift more than Mabia? Whoa, amazing! Wait, can you really outrun the fastest man? Let's see then. Oh my god, that's a new record! Yes, yes. Okay, alright, I see ya. But can you walk the runway like Sheila? <laughs> they don't think so. But boy, you showed them! Alright, let's take it up a notch. It's time to match Zohan's skills. Wow. 
too easy, but can you do it with Black Zhang's beats? Oh man, you're on a roll, aren't you? It's time to take on the world now. Is that is that Jamal? That is Jamal. Come on, score! Yeah! See, you're always good enough. Ignite your spark with Sprint. After that, the video that you have seen is the main thing. This whole video, concept, creative, execution, and delivery is done by a team whose average age is 24 years old. That is the potential. Samraji Kothata Shopshame Boli, Je Thama Mana. Apnada Shabar Thama Mana. So you can make this happen, but I will say one thing and I will say this in conclusion. You have to be willing to do the hard work. You do that, the creativity that is in this country, the energy that is in this country, the potential that is in this room, we can do whatever we want. Thank you very much. আমরা যদি বাংলাদেশে ষোলো কোটি মানুষকে আসলে জিজ্ঞেস করি যে কার কার কাছে আইডিয়া আছে আমার মানে ষোলো কোটি আইডিয়া আসবে বা দ্য প্রবলেম ইজ যে আমরা এক্সিকিউশনের সময় গিয়ে আসলে আটকিয়ে যাই তা আমাদের সামনে আসকে আমরা এতক্ষণ যে তিনজনের কথা শুনলাম ভেরি সাকসেসফুল পিপল যারা আসলে তাদের স্বপ্নগুলোকে একটা বাস্তব রূপ দিতে পেরেছে সো ফার্স্ট অফ অল থ্যাংক ইউ আপনাদের তিনজনকে অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ And I am sure the crowd has some questions. So, at the time, you have said, but we have to do this, so we have to do this floor, we have to do this, we have to do this, we have to do full of energy. So, if you guys don't mind, we have to do this, we have to do this, I am sure they have some questions. What do you think about your first business? What do you think about your first business? What do you think about your first business? I am sure they have very interesting questions. So, there are questions, you have the three biggest tycoons of Bangladesh from three different industries. So, I mean, request Corbo, J. Amrashundo Kore Hatule, Jar J. Proshno Ache, Sheta Ebong Kaki question the question. So, Sheta address Kore Judik to Tamrak Mamre questions at the Chole. Okay. So, I'm like to Deki, a car key question at it. A can I do my Hatule, a to Mike Taniki and a judge away. Are staging key character mic there possible? Assalamu alaikum. I'm Muhammad Mahinuddin Bhaiya. I'm a strategic VVD community. I'm a question about when we started the start-up, we had a vision that we had to do this step, and 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 we had to do this step. So, we had to do this image, আমরা এই এই প্রবলেমগুলো ফেস করতে পারি অথবা এখানে একটা ইমেজিনেশন থাকে আমাদের মাথায় এখন এই ইমেজিনেশনটা আর রিয়েলিটিটা কতটুকু ম্যাচ হয় অ্যাকচুয়ালি রিয়েল লাইফে আমি শুরু করি ফার্স্ট অফ অল সব কিছু প্রেডিক করা যায় না ওকে সো আপনি যেটা চাচ্ছেন যে আমি আগের থেকে জেনে যাবো সব রকমের কি বাধা আসবে কোথায় বিপত্তি আসবে সেটা কি আপনার যেটা সবচেয়ে ইম্পর্টেন্ট হচ্ছে যে আপনাকে প্রত্যেকবার নতুন একটা বাধা আসবে সেটা নতুন একটা সমাধান বের করতে হবে আপনি যেটা করতে পারেন রিসার্চটা করেন আমরা অনেক সময় যে ঠিক আছে এই ধরনের ইন্ডাস্ট্রিতে আগে কারা এসছে আমি সবসময় বলি উই আর নট দি ওনলি স্মার্ট গাই ইন টাউন আমরা জিস্ট অন্যরা কেন এটা করেনি বা অন্যরা কেন এটা করছে বা অন্যরা কেন এটা সাকসিড করলো কিন্তু বাংলাদেশে এখন যেটা হচ্ছে যে আগের তুলনায় তথ্য ডেটা অনেক বেশি অ্যাভেলেবল সো আই থিঙ্ক আপনি অতটা স্ট্রেস করেন না একটা কথা আছে ইংরেজিতে যে প্যারালাইসিস বাই ওভার অ্যানালাইসিস যে অ্যানালাইজ করতে করতে কিন্তু শেষ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু বি অ্যান অন্টারপ্রিনার টেক দ্য জাম্প একটা প্রবলেম হবে সেটা সমাধান হবে এই মুহূর্তে আমাদের সারা বাংলাদেশের অবস্থা সারা পৃথিবীর মতো উই হ্যাভ নো আইডিয়া হোয়াটস কোনো হ্যাপেন বিকজ অফ দ্য করোনা ভাইরাস বিকজ অফ কোভিড নাইনটিন আমাদের সব সাপ্লাই চেন কিন্তু এখন আমরা আতাপ করছিলাম একটু আগে ইফ ইউ আস্ক মি যে আজকে আগামী এক বছরে কি হবে আমি অ্যাজ দ্য ম্যানেজিং ডিরেক্টর এপেক্স আই ক্যান টেল ইউ So how do you prepare for this? So what you do is you make sure that your systems are robust. You have people who can adjust to change. Change could be hobby. Don't be afraid of change. But you can make the perfect blueprint. Ask it to hobby, calculate it to hobby, 
then don't go into business. Then do something else. There will be problems. Make sure you have the right mind frame. Thank you. Mane, Nasim Bhai, jeta bola chhe, absolutely true, true. Aage jokhon pithi bhi the, mane, change was very slow. These days, change is something faster than any time in the history of mankind. Poti din amon hoye pithi bhi bolle jachhe, shudhu pithi bhi na, manusho bolle jachhe. The human being bolte hamra ki bojai, aage bhi bish pochish bochor pore, that may come into a big question. So, we used to study process engineering, we used to uh, study uh, say strategic management. Now, we have a planning, planning process, the concept is agile, where you do retire it. You don't have a master plan, you don't have a blueprint. You start doing things with some initial inputs and you calibrate at every stage when you see the ecosystem has changed. So, the apnar jokhon kash korte je, apni dekhen je, je bhabe shuru korle chilen, mone hoy potta share kom na. So, drang apna ke pot onu jayi apnar cholata keu ekto change korte hobe. Thank you. Oi zeki chhu. Aki prostre upor khub beshi kichu bolte chai na, karon apna chai je aro beshi manush prostre koruk, abong Particularly, Pishonir Dikthiko Amra Prosto Ashakuri. Thank you. A Prosto Tarisha, Shaman, just Akotha Utto, Ami Business Perspective, Ami Jibon and Onekta Shoma Defense Chilam, Ukhane Amra, Boltamje, actor Deshejon, actor Judhir Plan Thaktahobe. She planned the Hoi Dolbosur Bapi among Sheta Judhir Adagonda Mutheo, we plan our Kashkorena. Amar Monohoi. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a clear a big thanks to Nasim Bhai Ji, the group leaders came to me asking that, Bhaiya, why don't we have the nice plastic ID cards like we used to have every year? Like, are we trying to save money? But to be honest, this is more expensive than plastic. It actually recycle like the material they got out of so that I'm not one time plastic generation avoid court body usually after they can on a other conference group with the only panel bottle that they were on a company she party now you can honestly speaking we're trying to use as much money less plastic possible should do it in a this is the first time in Bangladesh someone is having a completely digital conference so we did not print any agenda no one even the speakers no one got the agenda Everything is in an app. This app they into your signing up. Your, so that at least I'm a quite a gats to budge back to borrow conference could take it in quite a gats get a filly. Then what's the point of doing this conference? So the other <laughs> question chilo. It was not due to save money. We were trying to be eco friendly. Some of the question you pitch take a higher request because you to pitch it. They will come in front. Act them pitch it. Assalamu alaikum. I am Janatul Nadi Islam, BBD Managing District Vice President. So, our question is, if we have a start-up, if we have a start-up, we have a start-up, but we don't have any plan to do it. We have a manpower to do it, and we have a manpower to motivate us. We have a start-up, we have a manpower to do it. So, why do we have a manpower to do it? We have a start-up, we have a start-up. Thank you. Which one is the one? আমাদের এয়ারলাইনের যে প্ল্যানিং সেখানে বিশেষায়িত কিছু ম্যানপাওয়ার লাগে সেই জন্য এটা এত বিশেষায়িত যে আমার মনে হয় এই উত্তরটা আমি আমার অন্য দুজন প্যানেলিস্ট যারা তাদের দেওয়ার জন্য বলব থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ যে কোনো যে কোনো উদ্যোক্তার জন্য সবচেয়ে বড় যে বিষয়টা সেটা হচ্ছে নিজের স্বপ্নটাকে অন্যের সাথে ইফেক্টিভলি কমিউনিকেট করার সক্ষমতা আমি যদি আমার স্বপ্নকে যদি আমার ভিতরে রেখে দিই তাহলে সেই স্বপ্ন কখনো পূরণ হবে না সো আমি যদি আমার স্বপ্ন বাস্তবায়ন করতে চাই সেক্ষেত্রে আমার সহযোগী লাগবে আমার ক্রেতা লাগবে আমার ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল লাগবে আরও কিছু আমার সহযোগী প্রতিষ্ঠান লাগতে পারে ব্যবসার ক্ষেত্র বিশেষে সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমি যদি আমার সহযোগীদেরকে আমার স্বপ্নটাকে তাদেরকে উদ্বুদ্ধ না করতে পারি তাহলে কখনোই আমার স্বপ্ন পূরণটা হবে না যেভাবে আমি চাচ্ছি 
So, Jekono leader is journal. Leadership is something about influencing others towards your dream. So, Sheikasta, Kotabe. So, our human resource lagbe, Amar Ashebosh Jara Ace, Ami Monekori Jara Amar, Uddoke Shojogita Korte Parbe, Shomoton Dite Parbe, Amake compliment Korte Parbe, She Manus Gulor Kaseje, Amar Shop Notake, Amon Babu Upostapon Kotabe. Jate Tarao, Akiba excited hoy, Emu Amashate, Shojogi hoy. Thank you. I make to add Korije, oh, yeah. Okay. Before she comes, I think actor Kothik to have a bully, oh, there is a definition of entrepreneurs. Je entrepreneurs avoid a nine to five job but end up working 48 hours. You know, so end of the day, Apnar J. Sprihab, Apnar J. Uddok. সেটা যদি আরেকজনকে উদ্বুদ্ধ করতে হয় সেটা যেটা মুমিন ভাই বললেন যে সেটা একটা তো হচ্ছে তাকে ইন্সপায়ার করা আপনাকে কথা বলে বাট যে কথাটা আমি একটা শব্দ ইউজ করলাম রিওয়ার্ডটা শেয়ার করতে হবে ইউ সি আমরা 1990 তে আমরা যখন আমাদের যাত্রা শুরু করি আমরা 157 জন ছিলাম এপেক্স ফুড পেয়ার পরিবারে আজকে আমরা 15000 বাট উই হ্যাভ পিপল फ्रॉम आवर 157 টিম হু আর শেয়ারহোল্ডারস হু আর ডিরেক্টরস অফ দা কোম্পানি who get dividends from the company? Kintu apni yadi pura ta nijay bok koren. Shobai ke bolen na apni kaj kore jan. Ami achi. That doesn't work. So if you want them to share the pain, you have to share the gain. So I think one of the easiest way to motivate people is to make sure that the reward system also recognizes the set, the contribution that they're making. Itar arta major example khali diye the. Shita hoychi ke you guys are here, right? And you guys did not come for free, you paid for it, right? Someone motivated you, right, to come here? Whether it was Jago, your friends, the advertisement, the communication that we did, that's why you are here. So there is someone motivating, so you need to know how to motivate and who to motivate. That's very important. So when we started Jago, we were six friends, but planning meeting, we had 70 people, six friends stayed back. They got more friends. Today we have 400 employees, 35,000 volunteers, 3,500 3, kids are getting education. And you guys are all coming. So someone is motivating. So, can I have a question? Hello. Hello. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I am Anika Zain Shifa, VVD Borisha, President of VVD Borishal District. Our movies are very important to us. We know that we are going to be able to get to the end of the day. But in this case, we are going to be able to get the ticket price. It is very expensive. We are going to be able to get the ticket price. It is affordable. But we are going to be able to get the student. It is a little bit expensive. But we are going to be able to get the seminar or conference. We are going to be able to get the exam schedule. We are going to be able to get the exam schedule. बासे कोरे जे जे कॉन्फ्रेंस कोरे एग्जाम एटेंड कोरा अब आर जेटो इटा टाइम कॉन्सियम आर जेटो प्लेन जो आटो पॉसिबल है ना जेटो इटा एक्सपेंसिव सो शेखेते नवो आर की आमादेर मातो स्टूडेंट दे जोनो कोनो फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड करते वाले थैंक यू आपने खूब शोम हो तो शोवार मॉर्निंग को था बोले चेन आपने बोलते पार हैं। थैंक यू। एक तरह से मौत चिलो किंतु जे आकाश प्रथम भ्रमण टा खूबी एक्सपेंसिव चिलो। तो आम्रा किंतु आस्ते-आस्ते शे बैरियर टा भेंगे। एमोन एक तरह पौर्जाय इच्छी जे आम्रा आमादे कॉस्ट जेटा प्राय कॉस्टेर कासा कासे आम्रा टिकिट बिक्री कोरी। हाँ तो किचु बेशी। आपने � air condition base aste gele 1800 theke 2200 taka depending on the companies ar amader airline er ticket kintu just 2500 taka to amra kintu almost apnader affordability range er modhe chole aschi tar pore obosshoi amra chinta korbo particularly student der jonne jodi amader kono rebate dewar kono i thake kono mechanism thake seta amra chinta kore dekhbo Hello everyone, um, thanks to the panel, it's Asma Faigir. Um, uh, I have actually two questions, one is uh, for um, Apex manager. 
uh, you talk about the recycling and how important it is to re use recyclable resources in our products. So on that note, I want to ask uh, if we uh, use uh, recyclable uh, resources or recycling resources, so it will increase uh, the average uh, price of the product. So how we make sure that the, our customer is able to purchase our goods uh, because it's like it, some of them may not be able to afford. And what I have one more general uh, questions to the panel. Uh, could you please give us one key advice uh, for new startup businesses to overcome the market competition? Because as we know, the market is dominating by few corporations and not for small businesses. Thank you very much. Well, uh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Afghanistan. Uh, thank you. That's a very good question. I think um, the original thought was that recycled or sustainable costs more. But I think nowadays the concept has changed to total cost rather than just purchase cost or transaction cost. So if you look at the total cost over the life cycle of the product, let's say if you, if you make something using something that is harmful either for the people making it, wearing it, or disposing it, the cost of removing that from the system is actually quite high. So I think you need to look at total cost, A. B is consumers today are sending a very clear signal. Consumers are saying, we need you to be sustainable but we don't necessarily want to pay more. So the burden is on companies like us to try to find ways to be sustainable and still to be competitive. What we are doing at Apex is that we have started using certain percentages of recycled materials. So let's say we're not using 100% recycled zippers, but 50%. Next year, 70%. The third year, 100%. That's the, you have to start. Uh, I really want to stress, I think in our offices, we have done away with one-time use bottles. San Francisco has a ban on one-time use bottle. Bangladesh is dying. I've been going to our factories in Ghazipur for 30 years, and it breaks my heart to see what we're doing to our land. So all of you together, please, we have to stop using this one-time plastic. It's killing Bangladesh. Really, we need to stop. Yeah, I think uh, I'll touch on the second part of the question, which is about uh, how you compared with the market competition. So one thing most probably uh, uh, we, we saw this morning is that for any product, for any product, any business, the key thing is what is the different value proposition you are offering to your customer. So good thing is in the context of say fourth industrial revolution, the world is changing so fast and the, for big corporates, it's very difficult to change fast. So the small ones, the startups, they are really making the success. You have seen so many startups, the unicorns, across the world coming up because of new ideas, new value propositions, which the large corporates did not think of, or even if they thought of, their old traditional business model, operational model were not say adaptive to that kind of a value proposition to the market. You read about the guerrilla marketing, so you give something a little bit shock, a little bit different, which your customer was not say, expecting. So in business operation also, you have to bring in that kind of a tactic, that people, the large, powerful, dominating corporates will come with many ammunition, when you are small, you do a guerrilla strategy. That will be much more effective in modern, uh, say, corporate world. Thank you. I think uh, without elaborating further on this question, rather we take more questions from the back. Could you please give the mic to extremely back, a lady <laughs> sitting down there. Hello. Hello, good noon. Uh, this is Mustakim from Bangladesh University. And uh, uh, two, day, two years before, I have started a consultancy in Shamuli with a combined office. This name DACE Internationals. Actually, we are doing uh, we are deals with the students. Amra Jeta Dekchi, Amra more than 6,000 students in Amra deal Sheshe. Amra Jeta success rate only uh, below two point, uh, sorry, point 
বিলুতে সো আমরা জানি যে একজন এই পজিশানে আসার জন্য আপনাদেরকে অবভিয়াসলি একজন ডিলার হতে হয়েছে একজন সেলার হতে হয়েছে ইভেন কনসালটেন্ট হতে হয়েছে একজন সাইকোলজিস্ট হয়েছে যখন আপনি কারোর সাথে কোনো কিছু শেয়ার করেছেন বা ডিল করেছেন সব কিছু দিকটা বিবেচনা করেই আপনাদেরকে ডিলটা সাকসেসফুলি ওখান থেকে তুলতে হয়েছে সো আমার এই প্রাইমারি স্টেজে আমাদের সাকসেস রেটটাকে বাড়ানোর ক্ষেত্রে আমাকে কি অ্যাডভাইস আপনি করবেন এটাই আমার কোয়েশ্চেন থ্যাংক ইউ ওকে দ্যার ইজ এ সেইং দ্যাট আপনার প্রশ্নটা আমি যদি ঠিক মতো বুঝে থাকি যে আপনি যে কাজটা করছেন সেখানে সাকস আপনি ফাইনাল সাকসেস রেটটা খুব কম দেখছেন যেটা কিভাবে বাড়ানো যায় তো আমি প্রশ্নের উত্তরটা দেওয়ার আগে আমি একটু সবার জন্য বলে যাই যে আপনারা প্রশ্নটা সরাসরি করুন যাতে আরও বেশি লোকজন প্রশ্ন করতে পারে অ্যান্ড কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ স্টুপিড দ্য আনসার কুড বি অনলি দ্য স্টুপিড ওয়ান তো আপনার এসে যে আমি যদি সঠিকভাবে বুঝে থাকি যে প্রত্যেক একটা ক্লাসে কিন্তু হানড্রেড পারসেন্ট সাকসেস রেট হয় না কেউ জিপিএ ফাইভ পায় কেউ জিপিএ ফোর পায় কেউ থ্রি পায় এবং কেউ ফেল করে এটা কিন্তু ন্যাচারাল ফেনোমে না এটা থাকবেই কিন্তু হাউ ডু উই টেক ইট টু দ্য হায়ার লেভেল তা আমার মনে হয় এটা ইন্ডাস্ট্রি টু ইন্ডাস্ট্রি ভ্যারি করবে ফিল্ড টু ফিল্ড ভ্যারি করবে কিন্তু মুদ্রা কথা যেটা থাকবে সেটা হলো যে আমাদের মোটিভেশন যারা আমরা বিষয়টাকে লুক আপটার করছি আমাদের মোটিভেশন লেভেলটা এভাবে থাকতে হবে যারা পার্টিসিপেন্ট তারা যেন তাদের সর্বাত্মক চেষ্টাটা দিয়ে আউটকামটা নিয়ে আসতে চায় তো সেই ক্ষেত্রেই কিন্তু আমরা যদি হায়ার সাকসেস সাকসেস রেটটা আমরা পেতে পারি বলে আমি মনে করি থ্যাংক ইউ আমাদের একটু অ্যাড করব যে সাকসেস ইজ নট সামথিং মানে একটা দিনে আসবে বা একটা মাসে আসবে তা না আজকে এই যে আমরা টোয়েন্টি এইট ফেব্রুয়ারি টোয়েন্টি টোয়েন্টি আজকের একটা দিনে কোক সারা বিশ্বে একশো চল্লিশ কোটি সার্ভিং সেল করছে হান্ড্রেড অ্যান্ড ফর্টি ক্রোর্স অফ কোক ইজ সার্ভড অ্যাক্রস দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড ডু ইউ নো হোয়াট ওয়াজ দ্য ফার্স্ট ইয়ার সেল দে ইউজ টু সেল এভারেজ নাইন কোক বোটল পার ডে নয়টা সেখান থেকে আজকে একশো চল্লিশ কোটি সো হোট ইন এ এভরি বিজনেস দেয়ার উইল বি ইনিশিয়াল ব্রেক থ্রু ডেজ যখন স্ট্রাগল করতে হবে বাট ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ রিয়েল ভ্যালু প্রপোজিশন ফর ইউর কাস্টমার ইউ আর গোয়িং টু বি সাকসেসফুল ওয়ান ডে থ্যাংক ইউ যারা কোয়েশ্চেন জিজ্ঞেস করতে পারছেন না সেশনের পরে কিন্তু ওনারা কিছুক্ষণ আছে আমি রিকোয়েস্ট করবো আপনাদেরকে যে কিছুক্ষণ হয়তো ওদের সাথে একটু কথা বলে গেলেন জাস্ট ইন্ডিভিজুয়ালি সো আমরা আচ্ছা ভাই আর সাজেস্টিং টু অলসো গিভ প্রায়োরিটি টু দ্য পিপল হু কেম ফ্রম ওয়ান ওয়ান কোয়েশ্চেন ফ্রম দ্য টেবিল থ্যাংক ইউ ফ্রম দ্য টেবিল ওয়ান কোয়েশ্চেন হ্যালো আমরা আসছি ওয়ান কোয়েশ্চেন আচ্ছা লেট দেম ডিসাইড লেটস যার হাতে মাইক আছে হ্যাঁ থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ ফর ইয়ার প্রেসেন্টেশন সো মাই কোয়েশ্চেন ইজ টু দ্য ম্যানেজিং ডিরেক্টর অফ অ্যাপেক্স স্যার ফার্স্টলি আই উড লাইক টু থ্যাংক ইউ ফর কনসিডারিং দ্য এনভায়রনমেন্ট ক্যান ইউ টেক দ্য মাইক আবিট ক্লোজার I would like to appreciate you for you know considering the environmental cases that but and also I have uh, I saw a lot of fast fashion that you were <coughs> going to approach in in your the institutions so I was thinking fast fashion is a real life real world problem where there you're going to provide more products in a cheaper price which means there will be a lot more waste being produced so if you have acknowledged that I would like to know how you like to face that issue so if you're going to do fast fashion there will be a lot more waste being generated and i would like to know how what steps are you taken or if you have foreseen that issue what i go understood to do about thank that. you now a very short answer i think uh, we 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 acknowledge the problem and it's not just us i think many many brands and retailers across the world are realizing that this is simply not f- sustainable um i think the point was made by 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 our friend from afghanistan that 
cost is also a very major factor in Bangladesh still. The average purchasing power in Bangladesh is not the same as, as Europe or as America. So we can't necessarily do everything overnight. But I think the first step is to educate the consumer and let the consumer decide. I mean, act example day, we used to use plastic shopping bags. And we've eliminated plastic shopping bags. I think it's almost been three years. We've gone to non-woven. We're now trying to go to the jute polythene bag. So I think it's making those choices and then telling the customer that they can, uh, by doing this, we're able to reduce the waste by so much. Maybe this will add X taka to the product. This is why we are doing it. So I think you have to be very transparent. There's a lot of greenwashing that goes on. I'm sure many of you know this word. We make claims about being friendly towards the environment which are not backed up by data or in fact factual. So I think we have to be very careful what we claim. I said in the beginning, Amra, we are just making a start. So I'm not saying that we have the solution to stopping fast fashion or that fast fashion is necessarily bad. I'm saying we need to think about the long-term effects of fast fashion on our environment. And Mosheta, one of the things will be to use more durable materials, use more eco-friendly materials, and educate the consumer about what they are buying. Coming back to the, the airline answer, the first thing that is important in airline is safety. Now, do you want to compromise with safety? If you take the cost below a certain level, safety will get compromised. So I think the consumer needs to be educated. The consumer needs to be told that this is what is happening. Only then we can do this. Thank you. I have a question. I have a question. I have a Quickly question. Assalamu alaikum. I am Gopal Ganj BBD. I am a question. I am a question. I am a market competition. আমরা যখন একটা প্রোডাক্ট নিয়ে যাই তখন এস্টাবলিশড মার্কেটগুলো ও বিশাল যোগ্যতা অর্জন করে ফেলছে তখন আমাদের বিশাল যোগ্যতা অর্জন করতে আমাদের কষ্ট হয় আমি অলরেডি আলহামদুলিল্লাহ একটা জিনিস শুরু করছি এক বছর প্ল্যানিং পরে আজকে তিন মাস আমি এটা রানিং করতেছি কিন্তু আমি যে সব সমস্যায় পড়ছি সমস্যাগুলো হলো আমি যখন মার্কেটে আমি নিজে সেলার হিসেবে মার্কেটে যাই তো মার্কেটে আমি সাদা প্যাকেটে সেল দিচ্ছি আমার লাইসেন্স করা হচ্ছে সাদা প্যাকেটে কিন্তু আমি যখন বিএসটি এর লাইসেন্স করতে যাই যেখানে আমার ফ্যামিলি আমার সাপোর্ট দিচ্ছে না এরকম কোনো পড়াশোনা বাদ দিয়ে এরকম কোনো কিছু করার জন্য সেখানে আমি বিএসটি এর লাইসেন্স করতে গেলে বিএসটি যে যে ফর্মালিটিস দরকার অনেক কিছু লাগে সেটা আমি করতে পারতেছি না আমার মূলধনটা খুব অল্প আমার বিনুকটা অল্প আমি অল্প প্রোডাক্ট এনে অল্প সেল দিচ্ছি সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমি বিএসটি এর লাইসেন্সটা পাবো কিভাবে বা আমি কাস্টমারে কিভাবে বিশ্বাসযোগ্যতা অর্জন করব কারণ অন্য অন্য কোম্পানি গুলো আপনারা বুঝে গেছে प्रतिनियत नतून जिन गीखते बुजते कस्टमर विशेष नतून कि आनते जनेसटा चलो ना जे भलो किसू कस्टमर के दिवे तर जिनटाई कीन सो हमें आशा करे काजगुल करसपिरियन्स से आनी निजे बुझते पर भाव गेले सामने आपनर साफल्य आसते परे साथ ही समर्थन अवश्य जरूरी बाट परिवार जदि समर्थन ना कर कारा आपना के समर्थन करते पारे, शेठा आपना के बेर करता हमें एवं तादर कासे आपना जे आ जे जे ये गुल लाग बे समर्थन गुल लाग बे शे गुल आपना के बोलते हमें शायद जे पाँच जन ने। Thank you. Let's take the last question from the international table. Yeah, go ahead. So uh, hi uh, for the speakers on the panel. So I am Maryam Kademi. Uh, I'm I'm coming from Asia University for women. And I have a question for manu uh, managing director of Novo Air. So I really, uh, but before that, I really appreciate the work Apex is doing, and uh, because they are, you know, they have, uh, they are producing green products. And but for Novo Air, I really want to know that what are they doing uh, for tackling the uh, the carbon to reduce the carbon footprint that aviation uh, industry has. An environment. So I really want to know. I think uh, this is the most intelligent questions today that I have received. Thank you so much. Th 
the aviation industry is the nastiest polluter of the environment. It accounts for about 3 to 5 percent of the global footprint of the carbon. There is a worldwide awareness and there is a product uh, program that is coming up is Corsia, that is Carbon Offsetting and Reduction Scheme in Aviation. So it is, uh, in a way, already in place in Europe. Some other developed countries are already adopting to the carbon offsetting and reduction scheme. And from January 2023, in Asian Airlines, we'll have to do the same. So for that, we are under preparation. We're getting educated from Europe that how they are doing that. But before that, we have consciously taken some of the steps that a lot of plastic boxes that used to serve as the uh, meal that we have eliminated from the flight. And most importantly is the flight planning that you do. If you can reduce the flight by 10 minutes, so you can reduce the carbon footprint a lot. So we are trying to do the intelligent flight planning so that the carbon uh, footprint is reduced what it used to be. And not only that, what we also need to go, uh, do is we need to have the efficient engines. Those will be burning less fuel. So world is going towards that. We are also working towards that. It's a very nice question and very pertinent to not only Bangladesh, it is pertinent to the world. And we all must be fully aware and take the steps so that we can both reduce and offset what we have already done. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not questions in Nibuna. I will do the last question. Mike Jito Marhate, so I'll take the chance. And I'm sure a lot of them also want to. When you guys were in your 10, 15 years age, now it's a completely different profession that you are in. What did you dream of? What did you dream of doing or becoming? For me, it was I wanted to become an army officer. After that, when I had jaundice, my liver is weak, so I know I can't go to army. So I ended up making education as a weapon, and that's what I am doing. So what did you guys dream when you were in your 10 or 15 years? Honestly, our first dream was to be a driver. Uh, I, I really like cars. I'm a driver. I wanted to be a football player, but I wasn't good enough. Um, I mean, actually, I knew, and I, I wanted to be somebody who made a difference. And I, I know it sounds very big, but I think I keep saying this and again, and, and I see this in all of you. You know, uh, no disrespect to banking uh, or law or engineering, but the world doesn't need more lawyers. The world probably has enough bankers. We don't have as many great bankers as Mominul Bhai, but you know what I mean. I think, AJ, you are trying to market something. You're trying to build a brand. You know, you're going door to door. Uh, you know, maybe somebody's creating a health app. I see some of this work that's going on in Bangladesh and in around the region. I think, AJ, guy, that you have to have a purpose. What is your purpose? Now, everybody has to find that purpose. I mean, honestly speaking, I mean, if I had to start my life all over again, I would want to be a journalist because I think that is the most purposeful thing that you can do right now because people are not finding out what is happening. But it doesn't really matter. A teacher, journalist, engineer, banker, shoemaker, it doesn't matter. You find your purpose and then you make sure you do it in a way that you make a little bit of a difference where you work. Then I think we will have left a little bit of mark what we do. Uh, my dreams have drifted from one industry to another industry, one profession to another profession from very childhood. First dream was to become a pilot. Okay, <laughs> no more. So, second was to become a painter. So, I wanted to be a famous painter like Pablo Picasso. I wanted to be a famous painter like Pablo Picasso. I wanted to be a famous painter like Pablo Picasso. Then I wanted to be a writer. Okay? 
so i'll write something i will i'll be the most famous writer i'll get a nobel prize uh, in the literature that was a kind of dream then once i grew up i wanted to be a computer scientist uh, after hsc when i came to dhaka i i even uh, got admitted for this uh, say buet admission uh, coaching somehow uh, one person i i have told this story to in some other places as well the current uh, say country head a british american tobacco shejad munim bhai he was a tutor in the bba admission test so my friends they told me uh, let's have another option open in case we, we cannot really get admitted in buet so i i got admitted for bba as well and he was always posturing on me why do you want to go to buet all day only study only study and you will not get a job here in Bangladesh, do you want to go abroad? I said, no, I don't want to go abroad. Then he said, then you should come to BBA. It will be fun place. And somehow he motivated me uh, to study business administration. And at that time only, I decided that I will go for uh, banking or finance as a profession. So it, it has completely changed over time. Thank you. I think all of us in our school days, we used to write an essay, the aim in my life. So most of us, I think we choose certain profession in the bracket. And uh, well, in my school days, as I said during my deliberation that what I have become, I have what I wanted to become. I wanted to be a pilot, I have become a pilot. But again, getting back, that after leaving the school, your aim starts varying from one to another. If you uh, would go to my uh, Instagram or any other social media profile, you'll find that I have written, I am a born Bohemian. So once in the college, those days we were very much taken aback by Brian Adams, Eric Clapton. So I wanted to be a guitarist. And at some point, I was so much moved by my English professor, I wanted to be a professor. But that professor told me, no, you get back to Air Force, get back to your initial dream. And that's how I pursued my dream. And I was a pilot, I am still a pilot. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, honestly speaking, I think we got a lot of advice for you, from you guys. And you guys are very busy. Thank you so much. Corvi, you know, if I may request uh, you to hand, hand over some crest. Can we have the crest for our speakers, please? At the stage of life that they're in now, time is money. So again, let's give them a round of applause for giving us time and also insight. Thank you, thank you so much. So I've got a couple of announcements. We're gonna come back at 2.30. There's gonna be a Jumma break, a prayer break, and also lunch break. We're gonna come back exactly at half past two and then just another reminder to all of you that there's a way that you can give a feedback on each panel, on, on each session. So please go to the WUVA app 
and please make sure that you give your feedback so that we know next year how we can, how we can do our job better. All right? Guys, I think Junaid needs a big round of applause, right? He's doing his level best. Thank you. With, with being him a professional host, he's also from the development sector. So thank you that you were able to make it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Corby. We'll see you at 2.30.